up you guys this is Rob from the gay guy please and today on the daily grind it is 6 a.m in the morning here on the west coast but fortuna 2.0 is dropping right now so that i figured i would go ahead and i would do a little bit of rob read you shit that you probably aren't gonna read yourself apparently there's a lot of pages so i don't really know exactly how deep we're going into this but i'm gonna get you as much info as we possibly can and if i read a little bit uh uh, shitty. I'm sorry. It's really freaking early. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this with D.E. Megan Fortuna, the Profit Taker, update 24.2. Uh, we're back with the last mainline of 2018. What a year. Mesa Prime and her shiny goodies are still to come, but we're excited to present Fortuna, the Profit Taker. It goes without saying that mainline updates bring some unintentional bugs that slip through our pipe, slip through the pipes. Time to get revenge on all the spiders that have crawled up your leg. Oh my god, it's live! <laughs> okay, so orb heists. Here's the score. Tenno, Nev has the entire ballast on lockdown. Supply lines are cut off and we can't get anyone in or out of Fortuna. So we're planning something big, something dangerous. We're gonna fight a massive mechanical spider, an orb mother to be precise. Target, the Profit Taker. The Profit Taker is perched atop the enrichment labs out on the outskirts of Fortuna. It's protected by sentient overshield technology and new corpus fighters making it invulnerable to weapon fire. The plan, take down the Orb Mother. But before we can take on the Profit Taker, we need to discover a weakness in its defenses. Work with Solaris United to get the intel and the tools you need to get the job done. Required. Or old mates um, rank with Solaris United standing. How to start? Talk to Utico in the back room and accept the Profit Taker bounties. Profit Taker bounties must be completed in chronological order first, at which afterwards they can be completed in any order. All right, that one sounds interesting. I like that. Profit Taker bounty rewards. New corpus components. Gr gr g gyro mag? Sorry, like I said, it's early and DE likes to fuck with you with names and shit, and I'm just trying to make it through this. Um, a modular component that regulates altitude and out. What? That regulates attitude and altitude in various corpus systems. Um, Atmo systems, a modular component that compensates for the multitude of atmospheric conditions encountered in the origin system. Uh, and the repeller systems, anti-gravity system that allows a massively, massively heavy objects to be manipulated by a single user. Is that how we use our big guns, Harry? Uh, we have new Arcwing mods, ammo chain, 100% ammo maximum, arc gun ace on headshot kill 50 percent fire um charge rate and 100 percent reload speed for 90 seconds nine or for nine seconds not bad not bad at all um deadly efficiency on reload from empty 120 percent damage for nine seconds okay okay so you gotta unload everything uh resolute focus 100 percent chance to resist staggers knockdowns while aiming negative 50 percent spread while aiming okay mm, that kind of sucks a little bit depending on the weapon um let's see mark target 120 percent status chance when aiming nice uh, Sabot rounds, 60% damage, 3 meter punch through, critical focus, 60% uh, critical chance and critical damage when aiming, nice, okay, quick reload, 100% reload speed. Alright, we've also got the new Helmuth Strain mods, Helmuth Charger gains 30% damage persist, Strain Eruption, Helmuth, uh, Maggots Explode on Death, dealing 4% of an enemy's current health as corrosive damage to any enemy within 8 meters, percentage damage, okay. Um, a strain consume, dead maggots within 5 meters are consumed, restoring 4% of missing health, nice. Strain infection, melee, melee attacks gain 20% critical, uh, critical damage persist. I'm excited, I'm excited, and as we've seen, some of the, um, um, what do you call it, set mods are actually pretty good. Definitely the Kubro ones are the best. The Kavat ones, some, some bits and pieces are not bad from that one, so I can't wait to see how this all goes. Uh, Radiant Relics, okay, so that's another thing. As the danger outside grows, so does Little Duck's titles and offerings. So we have Operative, Agent, Hand, Instrument, and Shadow. 
Operator Amp Parts, um, Cantic Prism, a fine cut pavilion married to a shutter governor allows for a rapid yet economical fire. Lega Prism, lose an incendiary attack that damages over time, okay. Uh, Clamora Prism, short range wide angle energy release. Exard Scaffold, burst fire grenade launcher, okay, y'all know. Y'all know how I like me some burst fire, and y'all know how my, I like some like grenades, so I'm excited about that one. Um, Propa Scaffold lobs out explosives to be triggered by passing foes. So wait, like a like a mine, like a proxy mine? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Suo Brace, um, oversized capacitor, increased ammunition, longer recharge time. Uh, Plaga Brace, smaller, more numerous micro capacitors. Less ammunition, quicker recharge time. Okay. Uh, Certus Brace. The arm piece incorporates several internal lenses, increasing the likelihood of critical hits. All right, I'm going to check that one out. Um, Operator Amp Arcanes. All right. Virtuous Trojan on hit. Converts um, 25, 50, 75, 100% void damage to viral damage. Wait a second. Hold on. On hit converts, okay, so Virtuous Surge is the electricity version, Virtuous Spike is the puncture version, and Virtuous uh, Forge is heat version. Okay, Viral might be really, really cool. Oh, so they're really trying to show us that we might be able to use these on actual enemies instead of just like straight up enemies. Okay, but here's the thing. I don't think that Trojan, Virtuous Trojan is viral damage. I think it's toxic damage because look, we've got electricity puncture. Oh no, I don't know. Because it's electricity, puncture, heat, and viral. That's a random, like, flurry of them. By the way, if you guys see me touching my face, it's because uh, I sleep with cats and dogs in the bed. So I have a whole bunch of cat hair on my face. But it doesn't matter because Fortuna's here. Um, Operator Arcanes on Void Blast. What? <laughs> On Void Blast? Just generally? Just a Void Blast general? Okay. Stun robotic enemies for 3 seconds, which then they discharge electricity damage, dealing 50% up to 60% of the max health to anyone within 20 meters. Okay. Interesting. I, I see what they're trying to do. Magus Vlitch on con, uh, on transference status, 100% chance to negate transference status. Okay. Okay. You're like, no, nah, that's not going to happen. Magus Revert on Void Dash. Void Dash can be used again within three seconds, costing no energy and taking the operator back to the location where they started their Void Dash. What? Okay. And then that also restores health. Jesus, what is DE doing? Okay, this is very interesting. Uh, Magus Firewall in Void Mode, generate void particles every, what? Every up to three seconds, up to six particles, each granting 12.5 um, damage reduction for 40 seconds. Taking damage consumes a particle. Okay, so it's basically like health conversion, but in Void Mode. Woo, all right. Magus Drive on Transference, increase K-Drive speed um, for up to 20 seconds, all right? Magus Lockdown on Void Dash, drop a Tether Mine? And that tethers up to 8 enemies within 12 meters. The Tether Mine explodes, dealing 60% of their health as puncture damage for 4 seconds? Oh my god. Magus Destruct on Void Blast, reduce enemy resistance to puncture damage by 50%. Magus Anomality on transference in enemies within 20 meters are pulled towards the Warframe. Magus Melt on Void Dash increased heat damage in operator mode uh, by 20% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Oh shit. Magus Accelerant on Void Blast reduce enemy resistance to heat damage by 50%. Interesting! Magus Repair on Void Mode heal Warframes within 20 meters by up to 10% of their health. Oh my god, per second. Per second. Oh my god. All Fortuna Part 2 Arcanes, Operator Amp Parts Arcanes can be found in Little Duck's Voxel Lair's offerings. Holy shit. We have Baruch the Reluctant Warrior. Beware the Fury 
of the truly patient, pushed beyond restraint, a reluctant master unleashes the storm within. Passive restraint, each projectile dodged, each enemy lulled or disarmed, erodes Baruch's restraint and fuels the storm within. As Baruch's restraint is diminished, he becomes more and more resistant to damage. Nice. Okay, so no more edge meter. It's the restraint meter. We have elude, dodge all incoming projectiles, but, but only while not attacking. So I think they've got rid of the cone, and now they're like, nah, it's, as long as he's not attacking nothing, you just go and dodge attacks. Okay. Um, edge closer to the brink with each projectile dodge. Use again to deactivate the abil ability. Lull. A calming wave slows enemies until they fall into a slumber. Enemies woken by damage will be confused and disoriented. Short-term amnesia means all, walking any all waking enemies forget anything that happened to the lull. So this is kind of like their way of resetting enemies if you're trying to do some stealth. Um, desolate hand. Summon a bevy of orbiting daggers to seek out enemy guns, destroying them with a small explosion. Combined with a elude to double the dam or to double the range. Nice. Okay. Serene storm. With this restraint eroded, Baruch commands a desert wind to deliver powerful radial strikes with his fists and feet. Each moment commanding the storm restores his restraint. Nice. Um, I wish that restraint had a little bit of a buff. So it's kind of like restraint has its own, so it's kind of like you want to keep the meter in flux, but I get it, I get it. Exalted Fist for the um, Arsenal Desert Wind, Baruch channels, oh wait, oh, I already got that. Baruch can be earned via Little Duck's Vox Solaris Syndicate. Then we have the new Conservation Animals, and I think these are just descriptions of them. Three ancient animals have been returned to the Valse, and we get your help to save them, purchase their new Echo Lures from the business, track them down, and whisk them away before the corpus get to them first. So we're going to skip that, because you don't need that, but there are more floofs and there are more badges. Uh, we have 10 o reinforcements, so we have the Exergies. Feel the kick of this corpus shotgun as it shatters high, a high-yield crystal into anyone standing in your way. <gasps> it's so pretty! It's like gem-like and prismatic, okay? Um, this one was really interesting. They showed us, uh, uh, they, they talked about this in like our partner preview thing, but Plinks, Cultivate a meaningful relationship with this deceptively simple battery-powered pistol. The Plinks rewards attention and investment from the wise. Oh, what does that mean? But it's so cute sounding. It's like a little pet. And then we have another whip, y'all. We've got the Galvacord. Shock and maim with this heavyweight retractable whip. Find these new corpus weapon blueprints in the market or as a part of the Valis Domination Collection. Nice. Then we have the Flock Sayandana, which is a corpus Sayandana that responds to the well wearer's well-being, unfolding in response to damage as you endure the Flock's unfolds. Nice. Oh, <gasps> bitch, I see the hair. More. We've got the Mother Wrench Hammer Skin, leave with a corpus and no doubt as to where your allegiance lies with the Sonic Solaris utility item. Lift together, smack them down, whatever. This hair... We buy it some hair today, y'all. 18, 18 new operator hairstyles can be purchased from the operator appearance arsenal. These new hairstyles come with the new hair physics and three blending options to achieve that flawless tenno ombre effect. Whew, it look real good, DE. It look real. It looks real. I don't know if I'm gonna change my hair, but it looks good. Um, we have the Nixus Mixini helmet. Oh, jeez, I probably said that wrong, but it's early, so we're giving me a free pass. Open wide with this alternate helm for Nidus. Um, and then we have the Titan Titania Mab helmet. I'm gonna be honest with you, nah, like this one, creepy. They did a good job on the creepiness. I hate it because it's creepy, but I think that that's what they were trying to do. The map, I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna have to get in game and take a look at that. Muse, mother, queen, rally your court with this alternate helm for Titania. All right, we'll see. Oh, here's the Baruch set. Uh, Baruch Moreau helmet, an alternate helm from Baruch. Find all the alternate helmets in the market or the alert rotation. Um, Ak Rabu Sayandana, which is the cattail one. <laughs> the Sayandana of colored knots wrapped in linen is used by Baruch for meditation and contemplation. Um, find the Akbaru sign down in the market or as part of the Baruch collection. There's the Cobra and Crane. Look at that. It's so cool. Blueprint. Um, it's the sword, uh, shield for restraint, a sword for retribution, a sword for retribution, the cane and cobra, Baruch signature melee weapons. Um, there, those ones are available in the market. There's the slowy Kubro armor, Kubro armor for Baruch's loyal beast. Um, and then we, and that's in the Kubro attachment arsenal. 
you can find it in the market. And then Baruch Mandala, bestow the serenity of Baruch's meditative mandala upon your orbiter. The hell is that? Find Baruch Mandala as a mandala or mandala as a part of the Baruch collection in the market. What the fuck is that? Uh, are we getting, did, did they really give us a goddamn, a goddamn ship thing? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's move. Woo! The vent kit operator outfits. Holy shit, look at those energy effects. Can be obtained from the market operator appearance arsenal or from Roki's offerings. Nice. Uh, get true glinty with new vent kit inspired operator outfits. Choose from Kubradon and Vet Popper styles. Ah, Oh, and it's themed after the animals. All right. Um, new K-Drive mod can be obtained from the vent kids. We've got Cold Arrival deals 400 damage, 400 cold damage to enemies within four meters when you dismount. Mad stack, uh, negative 20% velocity when falling. And then quick escape, gain invulnerability for five seconds mounting on a cave drive, but expire early upon dismounting. All right. Um, let's see, what else is there? Perfect balance, um, X percentage chance to resist falls. Uh, pop top, negative 60% jump charge time. Ooh, okay, that one's a good one. Uh, pop invert, uh, K-Drive double jump height. Nice. All right, atmosphere arcwing gun weapons. It's time we equip some serious f uh, floor firepower. All arc guns can be used on the ground, or as we call it, atmosphere, within the use of a Gravimag. A Gravimag is obtained from clan research, or as a one-time reward from the Orb Heist Phase 3 bounty, and can be installed on any arc gun with an Oroken Catalyst installed via the upgrade arsenal, similar to installing a catalyst. Com comparable to the arc wing and K-Drive launchers, a respective gear item known as the arc weapon deployer is required to activate your atmosphere arc gun. The arc weapon deployer can be obtained by completing the orb heist phase 3 bounty. Okay, y'all need to do your orb heists. Atmosphere arc gun general um, changes. Atmosphere arc guns consume uh, ammo as opposed to unlimited ammo battery in arc wing, specifically new heavy ammo drops, which can be found on corpus enemies and orb hive missions. Heavy ammo drops also reset the 10 minute cooldown when picked up or replenish ammo if needed. Interesting. Um, atmosphere arc gun can be summoned to normal missions with the arc weapon deployer, but once ammo has been depleted, there is a 10 minute cooldown until you can summon again. Uh, the intent here is to allow you moments of beefy damage output and not become just another primary slash secondary weapon. Interesting. All right, so we've got a lot of changes for the weapons. Oh, do I read all of this out? Yeah, let's go. All right, Imperator changes. So the damage has been increased up to 50. The critical increased up to 24. Oh, thank God. They're like touching the base stats and making it more interesting. Status chance increase up to 12%. Uh, Magazine size decrease from 250 to uh, from 250 down to 200. Okay, ammo capacity set at 400. Reload speed at two seconds. Corvus, uh, master your rank. Oh, I hated the Corvus. Oh my god, I hated it. Master rank increased from zero to one. Damage increased from 35 to 40. Critical chance increase. Okay, thank God they did something to help it because it needed help. Uh, from 15 to 40 percent. Critical damage increase uh, from two times to 2.6 times. Status chance increased from 10 percent to 14 percent. Ammo capacity set at 50. Damage fall off reduced. Um, ooh. From 1 to 350 to 60 to 120, reload speed set at 2 seconds. Dual Decurion, please make it better! Uh, Mastery rank increased from 0 to 1, damage increased from 60 to 10, yes! Critical chance increased from 25 to 28, critical damage increased from 2 times to 2.2 times, status chance increased from 10% to 14%, ammo capacity set to 256, reload speed is set at 1.4 seconds. Alright, I'm excited. Uh, Fluctus has gone up in Mastery rank up to 2, damage increased from 200 to 250, critical chance increased yee, from 15 to 22. For those of you guys who don't know what the fluctus is, it's the one that shoots the blade waves, so you should be excited. Status chance increased from 10 to 16%, ammo capacity set to 80, reload speed set to 2 seconds, projectile with de oh! decrease from 30 meters to 10 meters. Okay, we're gonna have to see how that feels, because that feels shitty. Phaedra changes, um, mastery rank to uh, set to 3, damage increased from 45 to 56, this might be good for it. Critical chance increased from 10 to 14, status chance increased from 25 to 30. Notice, I believe status chance set at 30, critical chance set at 
15 is Axe Stiletto style. So this is 1% off. Magazine size decreased from 250 to 240, not too bad. Ammo uh, capacity set to 480. Reload speed set to 2 seconds. Singus, don't fuck up my... No! Damage reduced from 200 to 120. Oh, please. Oh, critical chance, though, increased up to 20%. Okay. Critical damage increased from 2 times to 2.2 times. Ammo capacity set to 240. That is something to play around with. The Singus has definitely been my favorite arc wing weapon, so to see it happen that way, I'm like, hmm... Okay, Grattler changes. Mastery rank from 0 to 4. Damage increased from 275 to 310. Magazine size decreased from 60 to 30. All right, ammo capacity at 90. That one might have hurt a little bit. We'll see what happens. Velocitus, mastery rank uh, from 0 to 4. Damage reduced uh, from 1,000 from 1800 to 1200 what is happening but they increase the critical chance uh, from 25 to 30 it seems like a little bit of a trade-off but we'll see magazine size decreased from 100 uh to 10 ammo capacity set to 30 i really have to play around with these to see how this all goes down Imperator Vandal changes mastery from 0 to 5 damage increase from 40 to 50 okay critical chance increased um, from 10 to 28 percent critical chance goes from two times to 2.4 times status chance increased from 5 percent to 12 percent ammo capacity set at 600 reload speed at two second change fire rate from 16.67 base ramping up from 13.33 so uh it increased but it has a wind up over 30 rounds base rate ramping from 13 okay functionality exactly the same as before just the max fire rate is not shown in the arsenal all right so they're showing the 13.33 fire rate, but it goes, wait, wait, Ch changed fire rate from 16.67 base ramping up from 13.33. So are you saying that it goes up in speed or is, I? so I think either the max is 13.33, which is not listed or 16.67, which is not listed. It's going to be one of those. Um, we have new Orvalis music. They have new Soma Chord fragments that we can go ahead and find out there. There's also a new combat track titled Cold Wave and an ambient track titled Fluid Mechanics um, that can be heard out in the Valis. Interesting. Wait, they've done the Nyx and Titania changes. Okay, general additions. Resident of Fortuna may have opened up to you, but there is more story to be told. Venture through the Orvalis for Venus lore fragments. Okay. Um, similarly shaped to debt to tokens to piece together the narratives of Utico, the business, smoke finger, legs, rude zood, little duck, and the ticker. This is going to be interesting. A new Baruch uh, UI theme and soccer UI theme are now purchasable. Wait, where's the Corpus one? Get out of here. We, I want the Corpus one. In an effort to make Warframe more accessible, non-analog inputs uh, devices can now be used together and will be treated the same as several non-analog inputs were. I don't know what that means. The business now offers a Corpus Boot trophy to really pump up your Orbiter aesthetic. All right. Fortuna Scene. So we have a new Fortuna Scene available from Smoke Fingers. Uh, Cetus Scene available from Old Man Tsumbots and Cetus. Syndicate wall stencils for your personal quarters have been added to your respective syndicate. Nice. Added the Lope pin to Clan Research. This new gear item will let you add your own permanent markers to the map in the Plains of Eidolon and or Valis. Added a bonus reward sound for Valis Cetus Bounties and the Bounty Stage Complete Sound. Okay, so there is the Nyx... Uh, and to Tanya changes that came up. Uh, so let's see what they've done. I think we've gone over all of these. Oh, shoot. No, let's do it. Nyx is the master of psychic manipulation. Her abilities are now capable of debuffing, CCing, or dealing damage directly through means of psychic energy and manipulation. Nyx's abilities have received an audio refresh. New sounds have been added to her powers. Nyx's passive now causes enemies to miss her more often. Nyx's last passive was randomly to disarm enemies when hit by powers, but since her revisited kit depends on enemies effectively hitting each other, we changed the passive to make Nyx simply harder to hit. Mind Control. Mind Control has a 4 second wind up that at the start where incoming damage will cause the enemy's target damage output to increase. The stronger your weaponry, the deadlier the output of your victim. So basically, you've got 4 seconds to shoot the shit out of your mind control target and then boom, he's gonna deal a shit ton of damage. Reminder, all damage inflicted to the target will apply once Nyx de deactivates mind control. Um, or when the duration runs out. So basically, all the damage that you pumped into that enemy will be pumped into the enemy at the very, very expiration of mind control. So don't think you're going to have that target again. Um, better follow Nyx and attack enemies um, AI pass. 
Mind Control can now be cast while moving and no longer halts Nyx in her tracks. The cast time from Mind Control has been decreased so you can better use the 4 second window to power up your new minion. Nyx's passive ability to make enemies miss will be deactivated while she is using Absorb, meaning no shot will be wasted. Nice. Psychic Bolts no longer deals any damage and will temporarily disable armor and shields, slow down infested units, and disable ancient auras. Nyx's Psychic Bolts can now be cast um, once up to 6 targets, kill these targets before you can cast again, or hold 2 to reset targets and cast again. So wait! Temporarily disable armor and shields, so does that mean no armor and shields? Like, there's no cap, but it's just like, all your armors and shields are gone. But the only thing is, it can only be cast on six targets. You gotta kill all six targets before you can recast it, or hold it to reset and cast again. Interesting. Um, absorb. Absorb damage type is now based on the type of damage it absorbs. Titania changes. Baseline energy capacity increased to hit 225 at max rank. Okay. The energy cost for tribute has been decreased yes decrease um all right uh simply getting one type uh, has been decreased from 50 to 25 i got too excited i couldn't even finish my sentence simply getting one type of tribute will be enough to have its maximum power you can commune you can continue to acquire tributes to refresh the duration but you no longer need to build them up as for the four tribute types dust keep it as it is reduces enemy accuracy by 50 percent Thorns, increase to 50% of the damage reflected back to the attacker. Entangle, keep it as it is. One Entangle tribute slows all enemies by 25%. That one I really like. Full Moon, the damage of Full Moon now buffs all Sentinels, Moas, Companions, plus Razor Wing Butterflies. Can we still listen? I think that's at, that's at 75 seconds. Can that be boosted to like the full? Or is that at 90 seconds and everything else is at 120? Y'all, do something about Full Moon so it's the same timing as everything else. It's gonna make me crazy. Lantern can be cast up to four times at once. New targets replace old. Targets will gradually float back to their starting position. You will be able to explode all targets by holding the lantern cast. Nice. Ra uh, Razorwing has a vacuum uh, built in. Notice they have avoided stating how big the vacuum is, which means that they have prevented Rob from being really, really pissy in this video if it's more than it should be. I don't want a 12 meter vacuum on my goddamn razor wing. If I'm stuck sucking things in at 12 meters, you ruin razor wing for me, DE. Okay? Let's move along. I'm like, it's early. <laughs> Venus Osprey changes. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Ospreys, the spawn the nullifier of bubbles, only spawn the orb Valus alert is level 3 plus, and if the enemy level is 20 plus, level 2 alert level will spawn shield Ospreys that don't spawn nullifier bubbles. A max of two nullifier bubbles can be created per drone. Total active nullifier bubbles from all drones in the area will not exceed four to ten bubbles, scaling with player count. Okay, guess there were too many nullifier bubbles and people kept getting butt hurt, but it is what it is. Uh, Tonk or wait, we've got some weapon change. Oh please, I see a static or change. Please don't hurt me. Okay, Tonk or changes uh, changed uh, from fire on release to fire on press and removed grenade arc visual. Projectile now explodes on impact after traveling past 6 meters. If it impacts before the 6 meters is destroyed, it, it is destroyed without exploding. Wait, what? Projectile now explodes on impact after traveling past 6 meters. If it impacts before 6 meters, if it impacts before 6 meters, it is destroyed without exploding. What? I'm gonna have to test that out. Update explosion effect and match radius uh, to damage six meters. Uh, fire rate increased from two to 3.7. Radial damage increased um, from 325 to 650. Clip size reduced from two to one. What is happening? Ammo capacity reduced from 40 to 30. 50% damage fall off added. I don't, I feel like that might have been made worse. We're gonna have, it was already worse. Is it worse now? I'm gonna have to play around with it. Static or quick fire area effect returned to two meters as intended. All my static core lovers out there. Ooh. Charge fire projectile speed increased. Okay, fine. Mag size increased from 45 to 48. Ammo capacity increased from 270 to 288. We're going to have to see how this works too. Clip size no longer affects charge time is now set at one second. I think that might be good. Charge fire now deals self damage. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to use a static core anymore. 
Semi lore series changes changed from a semi automatic to an automatic. Okay, added a small amount of recoil feedback when firing. Now it has proper accuracy stats, so mods will affect it. Fire Storm and Terminal Velocity mods now can be equipped. Reduced aim zoom uh, from 2.23 to 1.6 times. Damage over time effect is now affected by plus damage mods. Okay, we'll have to see how this works. Similar fire rate increase from 2 to 3. Ammo capacity increase from 60 to 70.2. Clip size in decrease from 10 to 8. Uh, Sided similar, they incre er, increase from 2.67 to 3.33 ammo capacity increased from 75 to 96 clip size increased from 15 to 16 critical chance increased from 5% to 14% all right Occupy core changes increased lock on angle of sticky beams i love the, the fact that it's called sticky beams from 15 to 30 to 40 to 60 nice must Okay, listen, that's too much math for me right now. Increased mag size from 40 to 60. Increased ammo capacity from 20 to uh, from 200 to 300. Bad core changes. Reduce the delay until you can use primary fire after using a secondary fire. Nice. Akvasto prime changes. Reduced aim to recoil. I like that. Um, kit gun changes. Increased the recharge rate of PAX charge when used uh, with all chambers apart from catch moon. Pax Sword now also reduces the effect of gravity when firing a kit gun. Pax Bolt's chance to activate increased um, from 50 to 100% at max rank. Good. Good. All right. I'm glad. Splat Loader um, in reload speed increased from 1.9 to 1.7 when used with Gaze Chamber. All right. Kill Stream Loader status chance increased from 11 to 13% when used with Catch Moon Chamber. And uh, Tomb Finger area of effect damage now matches point of impact instead of behind it. Okay, good. Good. Uh, controller changes and fixes. Don't even worry about that. Conservation addition changes and fixes. Dojo UI changes. I think we're good. Um, I think we're going to go. Everything else down here is going to be changes and fixes. Uh, it looks like uh, K-Drive races now require and reward standing. Now require and reward standing. Oh, okay. The amount of standing is based on the number of gates. Uh, yada, yada, yada. High value tricks will reward you with more standing. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, oh, the Oculus Scan Life Form mod has been changed to scan aquatic life forms and now reveals the location of hotspots within X meters and applies luminous dye to fish with it. The Oc, the Oc, Oxalis. You and me might be friends now. You and me might be friends. Okay. Operators can now use ciphers when hacking panels. All right. I'm into this. Okay. They're doing some good changes. All right. Um, arc gun mod changes. Automatic trigger 40, uh, increase from 45 to 60% fire rate. Dual rounds from 30 to 60% multi-shot. Rubital line barrel 60 to 100% damage. Parallax scope 80 to 100% critical damage. I like what they're doing. Um, hello, ha hallowed bullet 60 to 80% critical damage. I'm glad. Um, all right. I think this is going to be just fixes that are left, so that's going to be about it for this for now. I know it's been going on for quite a while, and I've got a whole bunch of shit that I need to go and level. <laughs> All right, really, really excited for this update. I hope to see you guys in Fortuna. Um, I don't even know how Noto Weho is going to happen with all of this. It's happening. It's happening. I'm just going to have to find a way to make what we're doing festive. Regardless, that about does it for me for now. So as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I got to go level shit. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.